Winter 2012 into the Logitech CSGO Championship. 40,000 euros up for grabs, of course, this weekend. The biggest tournament in CSGO history. Very short history, of course. Uh, but so far, so uh, great to have you here alongside me as Threat. And we are about to get underway for the knife round in this second match. So let's drop you right into the game now for uh, Ninjas in Pyjamas versus Pro Gaming TD uh, from Brazil. So Sweden versus Brazil. Three Swedish teams in the quarterfinal here. Uh, Dreamhack Winter alongside a Danish team as well. Scandinavia really ruling the roost, aren't they? A couple of Norwegians in mouse sports too. Yeah, it's. Uh, I feel like it's always been that in uh, CS, both CS Source and CS Rock Winters. Yeah. Those dominant Swedes. We've seen a lot of domination from the French, of course, in uh, CS Source as well. And now for that all exciting knife round. Right, I'm going to do this in the style of a horse racing contest. Okay. Are we ready? <laughs> so here we go then. They're starting to line up in the mid area. It's Fifth Laren coming forward now, who's uh, not going to take a hack and a slash just yet. He's decided instead to start beating up a wall. But now here we go with the slash and the hacks. And they come in and they start bludgeoning each other to death. And they go, go through them like a knife through hot butter. And Zach and RKZ win. Yeah, sorry, I don't know. It doesn't matter how I do it. Yeah. They're just not very exciting, are they? No, it's just... Uh, uh, I, I rather prefer they would flip a coin, actually. Yeah. yeah. I think the next knife round we do should be... Um, done in the style of some sort of boring politician or something just because it would make it even more lame yeah agree anyway that uh, knife round is done as you have probably figured out by now i'm not the greatest fan of knife rounds um the greatest guy that commentates on knife rounds by the way is joe miller joe miller has done some amazing yeah. knife rounds he really has it's the only time i ever enjoy them so about to get underway then for pro gaming td versus nip ninjas in pajamas Old school classic name from years gone by. Resurrected for Counter Strike Go with Heaton right in front of the uh, management stem, as it were, in charge of the team. And uh, just checking on where they are lined up right now. And I think we should watch RKC because he's going to get some action soon because NIP is deciding yeah, to it does go look out the house. Like that. Yeah, you're right. He's been boosted up inside the A bomb site. And it does look like they're getting ready to hit Whitehall's. And he's all alone there in close yeah, quarters is. with a yeah. deagle. It's a very they've, odd They've position. got these other two. They've got one at CT Arch. They've got Kogu in the back of library as well. So he's got cover from a distance. And Bomb in the hands right now of Nip. About to move out onto the balcony. They're just below us right now. You can now see them through the X-ray. Here they come into the bombsite. Completely nailed in the face by Freiburg, though. Oh, my goodness. That went horribly, horribly wrong. And Kogu now trying to get back into the site. Get right's picked up one. Kogu's going to surely go down under fire from Forest. Indeed he is. And only ZQK has managed to pick up a frag in this first round. They've got four men guarding the bomb. Planted. 20 seconds remaining. Fifth Laren's added another one. And surely this is just a matter of time. ZQK falls to the hand of Get Right, who picked up two in the round. And I can't believe he decided to have that position with a Deagle. I mean. He should have just bought an armor. I mean, it's, it's, if it's close combat, you die of one headshot with a P2000, so it doesn't make any sense of having a deagle in that position. Yeah. Um, just if you want some stats, by the way, because I'm full of these today, 71.4% uh, of all rounds on Inferno won by an IP. It's just another crazy stat. Yeah. Amongst many crazy stats when it comes to ninjas in pajamas, it has to be said. They've won five out of five in competitive play on Inferno as well. And, uh, not really a shock. They haven't, won a, they haven't lost a single map yet on land, so not really a surprise at all. We're walking into a tower here on Banana, though. It's, this is going to get count again in a second. And uh, yeah, RKZ and ZQK right up on the top of Banana here have picked up the only kill, so it's allowed Freiburg to uh, pull back from that with uh, Forest as well now in that mid area. Fifth Laren's actually going to come face to face in a moment with Steel. Uh, Flash goes round the corner. Forest blasts down with the AK. Fifth Laren is actually trying to save here for an AWP, but it's actually Steel and Zach who've picked up another frag. And now it's last man standing will actually be Freiburg here on the ledge, and he goes down under fire. An anti e code. They've with, done it again. With four guys alive. And I mean, crazy. Me and Lerp has talked about this earlier. It seems like many teams in these go struggle on the. Anti-Ecos. I know the pistols is better in CSGO, yep. but still, I feel like they could have made a better decision than going out the house, which is the smallest show from the entire map. Yeah. 
see. Three channels so far from ZQK. Uh, let's just check where they're going right now. Actually, it was uh, all the way down to mid, and I thought Steel was going to make his way down there as well. Uh, instead, he hasn't. We're back with Freiburg right now. Just a quick update from the other match. It started a bit late. Uh, some PC issues to be sorted out. Uh, Maus leading that one against Copenhagen Wolf 7 4 on map one right now. And uh, you'd fancy, I think, Maus to win that one, wouldn't you? Even though Copenhagen Wolves won the previous group? Uh, I don't know, really. I still think it's a pretty open game. 1-1 so, one, one in rounds here. Surprisingly, Pro well, Gaming Target down won the second round. Interesting to see a cheap AK Galil buy. It's yeah. very rare to see in CSGO. Yeah. One Galil. Kog is so sure they have an uh, eco, so he actually just have a P2000. Yeah, he went for a, a save that so he can buy for all. And it's uh, Zach that opens things up. He's actually picked up a double. Uh, where is he right now? He's actually inside. He's going to pick up a third and make that a fourth. Is this the ace? It is oh. the ace with a deagle headshot to finish. Great Stunning job. round from Zach. I know it was on a partial buy strat sort of eco weird Galil thing going on, but still, an ace is an ace in my game. Yeah, great job there from Zach. And, uh, I mean, is this still... That just still proves that the Molotovs is uh, viable in some situation. In, in like that small of a choke from that house, it forces NIP to wait a few extra seconds, which makes the rotation be able to come in time. Yeah, so... Uh, all by for the Brazilians, except for Kogu again, who is going to wait one more round, and we're on a full save for the Swedes, who look like they're pushing towards B right now, and this looks like it's going to be a fairly quick push. Indeed it is. Straight into the bomb site they go. Backwards facing, and they get a face full of bullets from ZQK, who's just going to clean this one up. No problem at all. Look, he's picked up four. RKZ picks up the fifth, and they didn't lose a man. And Pro Gaming TD lead Ninjas in Pajamas. Didn't think I'd be saying that this weekend. 3-1. Yeah, they do, and... Uh... I feel like NIP might feel a bit shaky after losing that eco, especially in the manner they did. Yeah, indeed. You can see plenty of cash now in the bank for the Brazilians. No problem with that at all. And uh, Kogu's still not off the mark, but does have an AWP now in hand. And Nip now on a full buy. Seems like there's a standard slow round. We see two guys in pro gaming going real aggressive in the house. Yeah, there's a little bit of aggression as well with that firebomb. Uh, the incendiary grenade being put down second mid. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what? That was so close right then. Forrest, actually, he couldn't see it, but we could. Had his pixel-perfect crosshair right over the head of the enemy. Uh, did fire one shot as well and somehow didn't connect. I don't know how. Amazing. Just seems to instinctively know where they're going to be. Forest now out of boiler. This is some indecisiveness here from NIP. Though they decide to push now for the A side, but there's two guys in the big pit. Yep. It's going to be very hard for them to go there. They are all top mid right now. All three of them are going to check jungle left hand side, then CT Archer as they follow round. If, they, de if they decide to go in towards the spawn, there's nobody there actually. No. And that could be a good call. They've got two on A, one on B, but it looks like it's going to be A that's going to be hit. They've got 20 seconds remaining, so they've got to hit this site now. And here they go, into the bomb site they go, and Forrest kind of isolated. I thought he was going to get shot down. He's not going to get shot down. There is a firebomb unleashed inside that bomb site, and he's down. It's going to get flamed out as well by the edges of the uh, fire. It does actually kill you when you're on boxes, which is not right, I don't think. I, I don't like that. I was I caught similar to that in a mix the other day and thought what the hell was that all about it was two two boxes high uh, Forrest obviously thought the same thing it's now a one versus one fake diffuse comes in from fifth Laren he's gonna try and bait the player out and doesn't manage to clutch it's actually fifth Laren who picks up that kill on ZQK to secure the round and reduce the deficit to 3-2 I really thought that pro gaming will win that round especially after having two guys in the big pitch I feel like RKC gave away his position too much yeah Far too early, actually. Yeah. Uh, which allowed Forrest to pick him off. So, 3 2. And uh, a little bit of normality restored. And Zach is 10 and 2 right now. And ZQK 8 and 2. The rest of his team have three frags between them. So, when you talk about carrying, that's what it looks like. Yeah. Oh, Kogu's. 
<laughs> has absolutely smashed Fifth Laren yeah, for six with that all. And if NIP loses this round, they are forced into another eco. Yeah, that's a good point. Just check and see where they're uh, set right now. Well, they're all isolated. Get right is uh, in apartments down here. We've got Forest at the bottom of Banana. We've got actually two existing Freiburg now at the top of Banana. So let's just see whether that's what they're going to aim to do here. It doesn't look like that's going to be the push. Forest, the man at the back of this little run. AK's in hand. Smoke is going to be put down. Forest goes in towards the bomb site, and the X actually exists that picks up the first frag. Oh, Forest got kind of caught short there as he popped round in towards ruins. It's ZQK just lighting the fire of that M4 and landing the frag shots. And now is this bomb going to get started? Yes, it is. Exist does manage to get the bomb planted. It's a two versus three inside this bomb site. Crucial round right now for Nip because if they lose this one, they're back on the save again. Likewise, Pro Gaming TD as well. Smoke inside the bomb site. I'm not sure if they came from a Brazilian or not. Oh. It doesn't make any difference because Get Right just absolutely ruins the Brazilians. Yeah. Amazing. And talking of amazing, how about this for amazing? Slightly amazing anyway. I know it's on an eco, but it doesn't matter. They all count. There's the firebomb. There's the first shot from Zach. Here comes the second one. And you'll wait for them to pop out from the ledge. There's the third and the fourth. And here comes the Deagle headshot for the cherry on top of that particular race. Yeah, and back percent. live we go at 3-3. And we actually see an eco here from uh, Pro Gaming, so we're probably going to see 4-3 to NIP. Yeah, we are indeed well, going to see... Uh, oh, that's a bit awkward. That's a, a partial assist for a bit of team kill. Sick round for get right last round. Yeah, it was an amazing round. Yeah. Unfortunately, we uh, did see it on our screen. We they did line the up. The site. They did line up perfectly. Though. Now four versus four right now, and uh, Brazilians making this awkward, but exist shutting out ZQK means they've now got a man advantage. Can they make it pay? On banana right now and they've still got another man to find up there oh he's been completely flashed and that'll be a free kill for exist and it's now four versus two exist leading the charge into this bomb site and they well actually he's going to try and watch their six here because he knows that zach's coming and he's just going to use the edge of that car to spy the man that comes through and then go out but he can't just yet because the uh, flash has been put out I don't know if they're going to go for it. No, indeed, they're not actually going to go for it. They are going to save. They were threatening to go down banana, but instead they're going to save. Yeah, and we're going to see a 4-3 lead now for NIP. What started out looking so great for Pro Gaming has turned around so quickly. Yeah, that's how quick it changes. And uh, they've stacked inside the T-spawn area. <laughs> I don't know if Exist is going to get there just yet, you know. Let's just see. Look, Togu stacked up on top. Both crouched. Is Exist going to come in? No, he's not. And probably wise not to do so either. So 4-3 to Nip now. And they uh, push themselves back in front for the first time. And since the opening round, when they won the pistols and then lost the second uh, after being anti ecoed by the Brazilians. It's and uh, Colgas and Alp here. He's going to take a shot in the middle. Yeah, he is. I think. No. Well, no, he's going to take a shot out a window. No, he's not going to do that either. Instead, he's going to go all the way over to the other side and line it up and wait for Exist to walk into the bullet. That's it. Actually, and uh, he's been chased popular. down in white holes. Doesn't have the shot on him either. So he's had to get out of there. Now he's got some cover from his teammates. So I don't think Nip will go chasing that one too far. But has got the opening pick. And makes a difference, doesn't it, when you're a man up? Yeah, absolutely. And I feel like I've seen a lot of teams doing that. Try to pick out down that uh, whole area there in the house. And, uh, Firebag now. And they're is, uh, rotating towards B2 now, but there's two guys waiting for them there. Yeah, let's uh, clear that mess off the screen right now. Let's have some green. Shall we look at all That's sort of yellow, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Bad call uh, by me from green. Let's see what RK, RKC and uh, SQK can do now. Sorry, five versus four. Time ticking down now. 35 seconds of the round remaining. And uh, Freiburg, usually the man that's going to lead the charge into the site, does start making his way towards it. Checks to the right-hand side. Does spy a man in the right-hand corner. There's one in the left as well. Uh, they're 
gonna try and hide down and make his way does spy one then spies the second one he's not able to take out either of them though but forest does come in he picks up one gets the second inside the site as well and now bomb gonna get planted at great and talking about great they're gonna be great now because they've got get right as well and Dear, dear me, Zach actually almost taking out his teammate. Koku's down to 21 health as well. Firebomb going in towards the belt. Bomb site. Forrest gets one. Get right gets a second. Can he get a third? Yes, he can. And Ninjas in pajamas extend their lead by five to three. Big round for them. And they win all these clutch situations. I mean, Pro Gaming had the advantage that entire round, but still, NAP managed somehow to win every single round, it feels like. Yeah, it does. It does seem like that, doesn't it? It was pretty weird how defensive Pro Gaming was holding B2. Yep. And again, still 12 and 11 frags from Zach and ZQK, and the rest of his team five between them. So, you know, it's still very dangerous. Get right now, doing a bit of roguing again. Kogu's meanwhile picked off Exist, and Freiburg's returned back in kind. Oh. In fact, Freiburg's got himself two in a row. And has already made his way in towards this bomb site. Look at this. Really quick push past the grate, through towards ruins here. He's got one man inside. In fact, two of them in there. He's already nailed two. That's three in the round. And now, oh, might get caught short to the right hand side. Does get caught by RKZ, who finishes off Freibo, but he's already done the damage. Three men down inside that site. And it's now a three versus two. And get right. He's all the way over the, on the other side on A. Has called it now and said, look, there's no one here. Come and plant. And finally, Fifth Laren legs it all the way over to the A bomb site, gets the plant. Forrest has got himself one more, but then died. And now RKZ is the last man alive with just one four, 14 points of health. And he has Fifth Laren and Get Right trying to chase him down right now. Yeah, I don't think they'll want him to get away with this because they'll figure that he's low on health. His teammates would have told him that he's been <laughs> somehow managed to avoid all of that damage uh, from the grenade. Knows he's coming. And here comes Get Right. Oh, and gets one right in the face without getting a single bullet off. And that uh, bomb's going to explode anyway. And is Fifth Larry going to pick up this last kill? Yes, he is. That's what they wanted. They didn't want any weapons getting out of that round. Yeah. And they extend their lead to 6 3. 10 remaining, and uh, they will march on to the semi final. Yeah. Great job there from uh, NIP. Managing to kill him, and um, now we see a full eco here from Pro Gaming once again. Yep. It feels like they ha have had so bad economy in both maps, so many ecos. It does, uh, does seem that way, doesn't it? With uh, Fifth Laren for a little bit, he's uh, not having a bad game. Had a good, solid first map. Nothing spectacular by uh, Forest standards, of course. I think it's tough on Fifth Laren as well. I know a lot of people said he's the weak link in the team, but. You're playing with four superstars. And uh, the guy has been a superstar himself in Source before. It's hard work to live up to sometimes. Just have a quick look and see where they're set right now. Well, look at that. Three in that area of B. Two back down here. Push fairly quickly forward. And Fifth Lauren and Get Right are both down there. So let's just uh, flip over to Fifth Lauren and Get Right and see whether they can make their way in towards this white halls those two men from pro gaming td are now actually retreating because the two men are going up mid in fact there are three men going up mid They're all the way over towards ct arch here as well as get right will now try and come in on the far side of this at uh, freiburg already putting up numbers here at the top and here we saw very good anti eco by yeah. nip they played it by the books list waiting like 30 or 40 seconds then making a push together, four guys, having one guy going a little bit further ahead just to peek if there's a stack <laughs> or something. And uh, <laughs> Ziku came, he's trying to be cheeky at CT Arch, and uh, Nip were having none of it. 7-3, and they've won six in a row now. And playing a little bit of bomb tossing in the sport. <laughs> I don't want it either. <laughs> okay, no one wants it. Some sort of disease attached to it. Want to see yeah, Kobe here again. once again? Yeah, trying to just, just pushing forward to mid area with Orb. He's now going to try and steal another one in second mid. He got one in the round before, actually about three, four rounds ago. He picked off Fifth Laren from the same position. Not happening this time round though. They'll know that he's got it. That's the point. And the 
Uh, Fifth Lord Nexus with the bomb is rotating towards the B2 side, so we're probably going to see them attack there soon. Yeah, I think so. They've got Get Right, he's actually sitting over to the other side, though, uh, as is Forest. And, uh, oh, have a look. So, big boost up for a grenade in towards the site through the gate on the left hand side. Here comes another one off the skybox in towards the bomb site. And is this is this a fake or is this the real place they're going to end up going? I think it might just be a fake, you know. Uh, yeah, the bomb is well, a banana, no, but yeah, they, they right. have... It, it they still is there, and time now ticking down. They still have 50 seconds, or they can go back if they want to. Yeah. Thinking about it, aren't they? They seem very indecisive what to do. Maybe they're waiting for Getra right to get something. Yeah, maybe they're waiting for a middle. pick somewhere. They haven't picked off anyone so far. It's a five versus four. They're in danger here of losing another man. And now, flashbang goes over into the ruin area. And uh, fifth round checked. We've got 18 seconds remaining. They can only go on the B bomb site right now. And here it is, inside that bomb site, fifth round. Combining with Freiburg there to pick up a frag. There's another man in the far corner. He's picked off again. Great and play from NIP there. Just a fantastic play. Absolutely fantastic play. Completely boxing him in the beach side. He couldn't do anything. It was perfect, wasn't it? Exist just, you know, coming on. And uh, Freiburg says health, health points on banana both. Yeah, well, they were both pretty weak. 20. As uh, Kogu will pick up a... An exit kill, no more than that. Three versus three. And uh, bomb ready to blow in just a few seconds. And this will be another round in the bag. Seventh round in a row for Nip. And what started quite well for the Brazilians is um, turning out to be another absolute arse whooping. No other way of putting it. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Uh, NAP is just playing brilliant, brilliantly on the the few rounds where pro, ga pro gaming get an advantage, and IP just clutched around with some uh, sick individual performance. Yep. So uh, Nip right now 12 and 8 for Exist, top of the table. Ahead of Gap right by 5 frags. And uh, Zach 12 and 6. ZQK 12 and 8. Both still having a great game. Despite the fact that the rest of their team is not. And that's been the difference. I mean, Koga has only 4 frags, but 3 of those were M2 frags, so. Yeah, they were. Five men now stacked on banana. Actually, it's four men on banana. I would guess that the rogue is probably get right. Yes, it is. He's over the far side of the map. The rest of them are all ready, willing, and able for what looks like a B hit yet again. And they plenty, of, uh, plenty of time left, though. They seem to always put get right in those, uh, like, going alone Rambo mission positions, and uh, he really seems to be doing a good job at them. And uh, now I think it look, looks like we're going to get the move into this B-bomb site. Smokes are going to fill CT Alley. Kogu, though, has taken up an aggressive position uh, from that B-bomb site and has taken the face off of Freiburg. It's uh, a grenade into that corner, though, has uh, doubled down on that from Freiburg and from Fifth Lauren. And with the bomb planted, control of the bomb site now. Easily done. You know, if they fire through that wall right now, they're going to absolutely ruin ZQK. And, uh, well, it doesn't even matter about that because Fifth Lauren and Forest line up easily, get right and exist, finish them off. And uh, I'm bored, frankly. Yeah. It's, it's boringly good Counter Strike from NIP. That's that's what it is. Yeah, I agree, man. In every 3v3, 4v4 situation, it's, it's nothing to say really. NIP no. is doing every little bit a little bit better than the Brazilian. So. I think you're being kind. I think they're doing everything a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> That might be more correct to say. Yeah. Uh, even if it's a bit harsh, and Toby will probably have words with me afterwards. So, 9-3 on this half. It was uh, looking like a promising game, a 3-1 up from the Brazilians, but they've now lost eight in a row. And Nip just showing their class now. They were irritated by that second round loss. And haven't really looked back since their last eco. When it was 3-1. They're playing so passively here towards the house where MIP is pushing. Yeah, back with Forest once again. It's going to exit through this boiler area with a uh, flash out. Now knows that they will be blind. It's going to smoke left hand side of CT Arch and then pop out a quad and absolutely blow them away. If he doesn't get caught by the firebomb that's coming back towards him, that incendiary grenade just perfectly placed. 
in that boiler area just as a slower and it did slow them they could have put it out with a smoke of course and uh yeah forrest trying the clip through the wall actually what i'll do is let's just show you where he's spamming it's into that cord area down there didn't do anything though because there wasn't anyone waiting for him uh looks like they're going to try and change this up a little bit now and head towards a there is one man in pit which is zach he has a famous in hand and there's one man on the site as well he's been dealt with already by exist still though still going inside that site has got himself a frag on fifth larry and now has called replacements and backup and they're under a little bit of pressure here nick for the first time in a few rounds Four versus two. Make that four versus one. And it's last man standing is Forrest. Picks up one, can't get the second. And they made a bit of a mess of that round. And Pro Gaming punished them for it. Yeah, but still nine to four in a, as the, on the hard side or to MIP. Uh, I mean, if they win this round, Pro Gaming is forced to another bad economy. They will re reverse their economy. So, yeah, I do not think that would change the game so much that round. Probably gonna see a B2 push here from NIP this round since the A push didn't work out. Yeah. So, uh, a 2-3 kind of split, the 2 mid and 2 second mid and get right doing his rogue impression again. Uh, just towards the back of White Halls and might be pushing up mid uh, very quickly here as well as we join Fifth Lounge who's completely blind. Get right is in the back of the halls right now and here's Fifth Lounge just checking back towards the bottom of Banana to make sure they're not going to get rotated on. He's quite isolated here with the bomb in hand though. They've already started firing shots into that area. They get firebombs go through. We saw the smoke come in to defuse that firebomb straight away. No messing around with that one whatsoever. I don't know if that was by design or a mistake. Uh, but they're in a little bit of trouble here. And now, wow, that, well, they've got themselves out of trouble because Get Right has landed two big shots and Exist has finished off another one and it's gone from being a four versus four to a 4v1 as quickly as you can say game over Kogo is the last man standing now and will save the orb and this will be 10-4 yeah no, as I said earlier it's it's weird how winning a round can work against you sometimes because now they their economy is yeah it's back to zero yeah ruined effectively yep mm. Well, they've got three men that's ruined for ZQK and RKZ will be able to do something. We might see one of those crazy Brazilian uh, partial buys, but they've got to be thinking... Well, actually, it's the last round anyway, yeah, so they just buy whatever they want. Yeah. What am I talking about? 10-4. And uh, it will be an eclectic mix of, of weaponry, but I'm pretty sure, actually, they'll have enough between them. In fact, more than enough. I think they've probably thrown an extra AK. I could join in here. They do have an AWP and two farmers yep. so Yeah, you're right. Okay. So, okay. last round of the half then. Ninjas in pajamas leading 10 4. Five guys stored V2 for the Brazilians. Wow. And a grenade, double grenade, right at the end of that, landed right on the top of RKZ's head and has already downed them. But they've got all four men in this B bomb site. They've already lost two. And now, that might trick them, actually. That might make Nip think that they've cleaned it out completely because they've got rid of two, and they haven't. But Freiburg's going to wander in there now. But they have taken the one already. And they bomb at the bottom of... Yeah, here we go. So they have got the message now. So they're going to head towards A. Four versus two. No one in the A bomb site whatsoever. Forrest just checking around. Fifth Laren's now the bomb man, and he's going to make his way in towards this bomb site. It's been smoked already at Library. And this is surely 11-4 at the half. Zach is just putting up a little bit of resistance here at the bottom of Banana and still also as well. So we've got to be careful here. Grenade does land down there and do some damage as well. And now Fifth Laren will just wait for him to pop his head around the corner and take it off with the AK-47. And that just proves how powerful it can be to have one guy working alone on the other side. We saw Getra get, getting out in the big pit and it just... He's just telling his teammates, oh, it's a trap. Don't go into B2. It's a trap. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No, he definitely did tell him that. And, um, yeah, always nice to be able to work that into that site as well when there's a single player working in there. They had all those different crazy people in there. I mean, th do you reckon they had any idea that they were stacking five men in that site? I don't think they did, did they? No. Uh, I, understand, start, I, anyway. I, I understand why they thought NRP would go B2 because they have won so many rounds yep. there. But stacking five man, that's very, very unusual. Yeah, indeed. So uh, we're underway then in round number 16. Second half, they've switched sides now. For those of you unaware of uh, Counter-Strike, how it works. 15 each half, and you play both sides. First to 16 rounds is the winner. And right now, best of three, NIP 
are uh, just five rounds away from a place in the semi-final. And that was be, you know, as expected, really. They are expected to reach the final here. Many expect them to win the whole thing. After all, they still haven't lost a map on a LAN tournament in Counter-Strike GO. And that's possibly why uh, Exist connecting well with uh, Zach. But they'd already lost one by then. They're now down to three versus three. And ZQK into the site here. He's going to surprise Freiburg on the left-hand side and does take him out. Now they've got the chance to plant here with Steel down. And only Freiburg left here. And he has 12 points of health. Not on, surely. Very Easy. weird that they got the A site so easily. There were yeah. four guys from NIP protecting it, so... Good job from Pro Gaming. And one bullet will be all it needed from Steel. And Pro Gaming will win the pistol round. So, it's not over just yet. 11-5. Should have a chance to convert a couple of rounds here. And... Uh, Ninjas in pajamas will just need to be patient right now. Yeah. Probably gonna see two full ecos from NIP since they know they have so many rounds to work with. Look at those three at the bottom of mid. That's just down here. One man over the far side. AKZ sort of playing the uh, get right role, as it were. Uh, on the right hand side of the map. Six rounds the deficit. Uh, Zach already taken a little bit of damage. And exist here. The man dishing it out with the Deagle. Reduced him down to just seven points of health as well, so not a good start. Although Fryberg's also lost a bit of health now. He's down to thirty. Get right with a shotgun inside B2. And they're actually pushing. Yeah, he there. does actually have a shotgun. Let's see if we can find him. Quite interesting. I, I yeah, think and you know what? He might just land a couple of shots here because they are starting to move towards this area. They've yeah. got one man to the right-hand side, which is Kogu. And they bloat. They do come back out. Now, is he going to get seen? Oh, first shot was not good. Second one was better. Third one was even better from Get Right. He's got two. Can he get a third? No, he can't. Shut out by Steel's AK. But he's done enough damage to make this awkward here. And now it's all down to the last man, which will be Fifth Laren here on his own with Deagle, but they've made it an expensive round, if nothing else. Do you know what? He might be able to do this. You know, Steel's only got 19 health. RKZ's on 53. Only takes a couple of shots, and indeed, only takes a couple of shots from the AK to the head as well. And one interesting thing to note is I, I don't think we have actually seen a single full eco in this entire tournament. There's always... Oh, I've seen a couple. But they have been a couple. I mean, okay. Really, uh, just minorly too, I think. Yeah, because I, I feel like there's always at least one or two P50s or Deagles. Yeah. Four shotguns for yeah. some reason. Yeah, 250s have been pretty popular. I've seen some 250 Deagle splits as well. Uh, we've seen the Galil um, combo with the M4. We've seen the, uh, sorry, with the FAMAS. And we've seen the Galil and the AK uh, combo a couple of times as well, where they fought one each. And uh, you're right. It's not popular, is it, the Eco? Not a full one anyway. Force going down in. mid, and you know what? Still, that's unlucky because the uh, the flash was good. It was just behind Freiburg, unfortunately for him. Kogu in a very funny position in Cetus form, actually. Yeah, he's uh, actually on top of the netting and has picked up a shot on uh, Get Right. Might get a second here, not quite. And Bomb Oh, actually, he's been tagged right down to one health. And it's a four versus, well, two, effectively. They've got three men to find. And, uh, wow, it's not going to make any difference here because ZQK is just going absolutely crazy and picks up another kill right at the end of the round with a headshot they on Exist. And uh, they've reduced the gap to four rounds. Now, though, it's full by time. And we expect normal service to be resumed. Yeah, I think NIP will close this match pre pretty quickly now. It, it, I mean, they were e even closer winning both the Ecos, so just prove that how how powerful they really are, actually. Yeah, I just want to see whether Fifth Laren, uh, who is orping, by the way, not Forest, and uh, see whether Fifth Laren picks up any early kills, and uh, saw a sliver. Look it at was just right the sliver. In middle. And we'll switch to Get Right in just a second. I just want to see whether Fifth Laren, no, he's not going to pick that up, so uh, Get Right has been boosted. That's actually a common boost in that mid area. Uh, we've seen people boosted here. We've also seen people boosted here as well. 
so that you get effectively one there and one over the far side one down in jungle and one down there as well so there's like four people all boosted or two people <laughs> boosted two people below uh, especially on ecos as well uh, but get right now ready with the flash for any kind of movement i'm not sure they're not going to come his way you know they are just sitting top mid right now is uh to get right here in this area and all the players are just starting to think about coming up here and maybe going one way or the other. Here we go then. Flash deployed inside that. Uh, so, well, they spied that one straight away. Look, uh, headshot from Steel. Sorted out, get right. And I don't think he'll be going back up on that ledge anytime soon. They do know that one. Not a surprise. As uh, ZQK finishes off Forest, who'd already taken out RKZ. And it's gone a little bit daft here uh, yeah. for Nip. Has yeah, it really worked out? Probably gonna save now a very clean run for yeah. pro gaming. We do see Exis trying to push here. Now he's going back. Yeah, Freiburg was also trying to push around the uh, left hand side of CT spawn. As uh, Kogu's now taken out Exis. Well, Freiburg's gonna come under a lot of pressure here and has got good spray control to pick off one. Don't think he's gonna get any more though. In fact, he'll be lucky to get away with his gun here. Uh, worth noting that around the what yeah they're being about. well they're gonna hunt him now on both sides and yeah they do manage to finish him off so no guns remaining from the round only one man um lost at the start of that round and a clean entry good bomb 11 8. yeah very slow and methodical round there from pro gaming <laughs> i just wanted to note that they did have the bomb going alone in house we saw this from pro gaming yesterday as well they like to have the bomb going alone for some reason ZQK right now is 24 and 13. Astonishing. Uh, when you consider RKZ, it's bottom of the table just six frags. Crazy stats from him. 11 8. Gap closes to just three. In theory, should be another one here. Uh, although, look at Get Right going all mag seven on us. And it doesn't work out for him. Two were downed actually in that little exchange of fire as well. Forest was uh, dealt with easily. And now that's going to be pretty much all she wrote for this round, I would have thought. Uh, ZQK clocks up yet another frag. He really is monstering Nip right now. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a stunning little deagle shot. Sexy little counter strike there from Nip. It's not going to make any difference. Pro Gaming picking up another round. It's 11-9 now. And this is a much closer game than we thought it would be. Yeah, only two rounds between them right now and... Uh... Maybe Pro Gaming can come back from this. They have really good economy, and I don't know. NIP almost have to string a few rounds together now if they want to win. Yeah, they do have definitely uh, good economy, as yeah. we uh, steal a phrase from Dunn from earlier. Nine eleven down, but oh, uh, well, great shot Fifth Laren has picked himself up. A frag with the orb. I might just get another one here. Although he might have scared them as well. He only took a little bit of damage getting rid of ZQK, and that's a big kill for them as well. You can check the scoreboard right now. ZQK's got 27 frags. That's nine more than the, the best player on NIP. Yeah, he's having a monster of a game this Yeah, he time. really is. Slow this time round. Let's have a quick check and see uh, what they're doing right now. And, uh, well, actually, that's a bit of a weird mix. You've got Steel up here going towards CTR. He's going to be the bait, though, and he is the bait. Exist picks him off. Now, is the call going to be that they're going to the other side? Yes, it is. They're not going to fall for this trick whatsoever. Yeah, that call has been made very early indeed. As they make their way towards the bomb site right now. Uh, Zach inside bomb site has just 16 points of health. Picks off the uh, stunning shot on Fireberg, who'd already picked up a headshot on Kogu. They're now inside the bomb site. Bomb was trying to be planted at great, wasn't able to be, had to come off in an RKZ, picks up the headshot. Can he get a second? He can. This is going the way of pro gaming yet again, but they have a disadvantage here. RKZ versus two. It's Fifth Laren and Forrest. Last two men standing as RKZ gets flashed as he goes towards the ruins area with 46 health. He does chip him down to 12 points. Surely he's not going to be able to get this done. Five seconds remain. Has to go for the plant. Gets the first one. Can't get the second one. Perfect counter-strike from NIP because they set up that crossfire yeah. superbly. Yeah, it might look a bit close, but uh, NIP played perfectly on the time there. They knew he, had, he didn't have any time to plant, so he just pushed at the same time. Yeah. They were, he couldn't get both of them at least. Oh, absolutely right. So, 12-9. And uh, finally, NIP getting 
around on the board. It's been a while. Some really good counter strike from Pro Gaming in the last few rounds. And uh, McLaren with no AWP but a grenade down mid will do a little bit of damage. In fact, that's chipped away a little bit of steel. And that's about it. Uh, as we switch back over and still picks up the first one gets the second one as he goes entry into that higher uh, the upper area in mid and has now got a clean entry into the bomb site they won't know it but there's no one in here right now they were the only two men protecting that bomb site and this a site now is going to come under some pressure here from get right is it no well he's backing away uh where's forest as well is he yeah he's gone too and freiburg is actually backing away with that famous as well so three men with guns they're gonna have to save because well they lost the, the round before last so they would immediately be back on a save anyway that was actually a great decision there for pro gaming they knew that forest has pushed down into the t house so to say okay you have one guy le uh, less on b1 we will just push up middle and take over a so uh, it totally worked out <laughs> again right has a scout in hand right now where did he get that from yes i didn't see that i didn't see him buy it Maybe he bought wrong. I don't know. Or maybe he picked it up out of T-Spawn, because he was yeah. in T-Spawn. And I don't know if that had been bought by mistake or the previous round of what. But anyway, he's so, got himself a scout. I've he's going not to seen take him scout in CSGO yet, so this should be fun. Let's stay with him. He's going to take a shot now. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he running with the scout? Uh, you run faster with the scout. Oh, oh my oh, goodness! Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> Just, you couldn't call it any better than that, could you? Wow. Scout is like, what a shot. Pro Gaming is like, what? Mr. Allison, <laughs> you are a superstar. Absolutely brilliant. Now the serious stuff kicking off inside the A-bomb site right now. 12-10, remember, this is a close game. He needs to be making sure he lands these shots for his team as well. Forrest now with a double. And that's gotten rid of three players in the round now, thanks to some brilliance from Get Right. And from Forest, and only Steele and Zach remain here. And they're both top of Banana. Trying to check out where those players are, but there's none there. But that's given them time to rotate back through <laughs> ruins as well. Oh, what the irony is just unbelievable right now. Freiburg has got himself a kill. Still the last man standing, and he's, he's not going to get much further. They've lost just one player in the entire round after that stunning scout headshot opened it up. Yeah. What do you yeah. do against that? I don't know. I, I can't find any words for that shot. <laughs> it's a really That's funny just, round. Though, oh, like it's just pro, remarkable. Pro Gaming knew that there was one guy hiding in B2, so said, okay, let's take the backup coming through Banana. But there was no guy coming from there. No. <laughs> Pretty bad luck for, for Pro Gaming right there. Just, just crazy stuff, really. From Get Right. Just absolutely amazing. And uh, this time around, a little bit more standard from the. Uh, NIP, ninjas in pajamas, leading 13-10 now. And if they win this one, they'll be on the verge of victory for the entire game because pro gaming will not have the money to play any kind of uh, major threat to them in the last couple of rounds, that's for sure. They will have to save after this one if they lose. And still with Gat, right? Let's just have a look and see. Well, there are two men waiting for him in this sort of area here. And uh, Kogu's now coming back up to join them as well. Uh, alternatively, though, the bomb man is actually over here. All alone. Uh, all alone, which is, uh, I'd say it's a shock, but it's not really a shock when we've watched pro gaming before. They're trying to make their way into the boys the B bomb site. And um, Get Right's waiting for them as well. Going to use a little trick off the side of the ledge, double flash around the corner, and then pick off the first one. In fact, get both of them inside there as well. Headshot and a door bang. And, well, take a seat. You've just been sat. Yeah, I don't really feel it's affected to fake B2 going in that deep as they did there. Maybe they no. could have just smoked and gone back or something. Well, it, it's not worked now because they know that that was a fake. Forrest yeah. has now got himself a double. And RKZ is the lone ranger for the Brazilians right now. He is currently 10 and 15, so his stats don't suggest that he's in a particularly healthy place either. And he's got 39 points of health. And there are five players from Ninjas in Pajamas who haven't lost on land hunting him down. I don't know who I'd be more scared yeah. about right now. He has picked up a frag, though, and that's as good as he was going to get in the round. So 14-10, and they've got one AK between them. Let's just check and see. Well, they've got they, a couple of men, and you know what? They're going to buy. They are going to buy what they can buy, and that's an odd choice. 
I, yeah. That's a really weird choice at 14. To, why don't you just give up the game and know that you can't buy anything more than you've already got and then stop them winning? But if they lose this one, they've effectively yeah. lost anyway. So I guess it doesn't matter too much. I really hope they push together now. Weird. That's to really weird. weird and uh, Kogu's actually kicked off things here as we're with RKZ. And uh, just going to flick over to ZQK and see what he can produce. He's 27 frags in this game so far. And yet, they haven't given him a gun. Apart from the 250, of course. Which, you know, works out well. It's a 5 versus 4 in favour of the Brazilians as well. And you can see, look, they're trying to edge towards each other here. On the right hand side, quad side of this A bomb site. And RKZ has picked himself up one frag. And in towards the bomb site goes ZQK. Jetra flashed over the top. And one man in pit is going to go down. Does he know he's not? In fact, Freiburg is going to pick it up. And that is surely going to be game over now. 15 10. Match point here on Inferno for Ninjas in Pajamas. They've already won the first map comfortably. And the second map is about to be cleaned up because. Well, money-wise, what have they got right now? Absolutely nothing in the way of money. So they're just going to eclectically buy. There's two Deagles, there's a Galil, and a 250. And I'm not sure what Steel has, but I don't think it's anything more than a Deagle. No, it's not. So this is going to be rough. And, uh, well, Fifth Lowry, completely blind. Absolutely ruined he was. Yeah, and I don't think NIP will give away this round. No, I don't think so either. And uh, let's just check and see where they are. So they're all hobbled down in this area right now. You've got Forrest uh, just actually pushing a little bit. And do you know what? He might absolutely tear them apart here. There's one. Grenade goes down. That's a perfectly placed grenade as well. But it hasn't done any damage at all. I have no idea how. Because uh, they look like they were about to rush into White Halls. In fact, they are now about to rush into White Halls. Right behind him. One up on the ledge. Picked off by Forrest, gets the second one, gets the third, and will get the fourth. Won't get a fifth, though. Fantastic from Forrest. Absolutely brilliant. The last man is going to be picked off by Getright, and GG's are exchanged. Ninjas in pyjamas move on through the quarterfinals as we expected they would with two fantastic map rounds, some brilliant individual play, and uh, some almost flawless tactics as well. Yeah, I mean, they've just played absolutely flawlessly in so many rounds. Uh, even the rounds were absolute legends. They made a good opening. Kogi might have gotten an entry frag or two, but uh, NIP just seemed to win every single plant situation. Yeah, and uh, I think the uh, highlight for me, although it's a, it's a little thing, and little things please little minds, was the uh, scout pickup and then following round rush to mid headshot. I mean, I don't only know. Get Right would do that, wouldn't he? Yeah, it's like, if, if he finds a scout, that he even picks it up. Yes. And then he manages to get that shot. Yeah, well, the thing is, he went all the way to T-Spawn to pick it up, picked it up, then saved it, yeah. and then used it. Like, a, a normal player and then would threw it away. never have picked it up in the first place. No. Well, he did. Yeah. And uh, don't go anywhere, because we're going to bring you Mouse Sports versus Copenhagen Wolves. We'll find out what the score was in the first half, and then we'll jump into their second map, which they're in right now. Uh, between Mouse Sports and Copenhagen Wolves. Uh, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with the other quarterfinal. Dude.